the aim of this post is for you to be able to get to know me a little bit more because you're probably reading this or watching this now um, because you've got some degree of interest that might be business or otherwise. Now, if you'd like to check out my skills and experience, then feel free to have a look at my LinkedIn profile, which is just below in the blog. But if you're a little bit nosier and you wanna know more about me as a person, well, to start with, I studied French and Spanish at university, which meant that I got the chance to spend a year in Nice and Valencia, the time we shared. I do speak French and Spanish as well, something good came of it. Um, I enjoyed the time thoroughly because it meant that I got to do some of the things that I loved the most and that's traveling, eating, yes, and meeting people. I'm a bit of an extrovert so I'm at my best when I'm around others. Now when I first got to France I was living in a hostel while I found a flat I was looking for somewhere to live and in this hostel there were loads of people who would travel in the world and they were just you know in a, in a European stop in um, you know the gorgeous south coast of France. It gave me a bit of a buzz for travel and for communicating with people, finding out about where they come from, their culture, things that they like about where they live or where they've seen and what makes them tick. Now, fast forward a few years, graduated, I've been working in the public sector for a few years and realised that it wasn't really good for me, it wasn't where I wanted to be long term but it was what I was qualified for other than the languages and I didn't really want to go into translation or anything like that. So I was at a point where I was going to be starting from zero effectively. And for me, it was really important that I start with something that I really was passionate about, that I was interested about, because you know, if you're going to be starting at the bottom of the ladder, you want to be interested. And that's when I realized I wanted to get into broadcasting. It was something that I'd always been interested in. I was intrigued as to how TV and radio were created, what the experience was like as a whole and not just the final product. So I decided that really I was the only person stopping myself from doing it and to go for it. Now that was about two years ago and ever since I've been trying to find out as much as I can about broadcast, about media and communication, that all culminated when a few months ago, December, December, January, um, I handed in my notice for employment and became self-employed. So really, that's me and that's pretty much us up to the present day. I've been self-employed, fully self-employed for five months. It's got its challenges, it's enjoyable, but really it's quite cheesy but I'm learning so much about myself because you've got to learn so many different areas of business um, and for the first time ever I'm completely working on my own there's no one else around other than lovely clients and people that I meet along the way so it's definitely a learning curve but there we go that's a little bit more about me I'd love to hear if you are self-employed whether you've had any any experience of starting your own business, whether you're at the beginning, you may be considering it, or maybe you're like several years down the line and you're fully successful and, and in a very good place financially, in the business, you're successful and wonderful, please let me know, feel free to comment. But it's Friday afternoon, it's the weekend, it's about six o'clock, so you go off, have a lovely weekend, and I'll speak to you soon.